A local and national group came together to support youth going through hardships. 12 News' Marie Minifield attended the special packing party. Amerigroup Mississippi and Care Cases pack care packages for kids entering the foster care system and survivors of human trafficking and domestic violence. And I thought to myself, how could this be? How can we sit here and say we care so much about children and we continue to give them trash bags? And so we decided to pack some cases. We wanted our kids to know that your legacy is not what you take, but what you give. And we wanted every child to have a brand new pair of pajamas, their own toiletry set, their own toothbrush. We wanted every child to have their own book, their own blanket, their own stuffy, their own activity. Volunteers made care bags for children of all ages, from infant to teens giving the gift of comfort during what can be a tough situation. Uh, when folks are going through difficult times and hard times, you know, that not only affects your physical health, but your mental health as well. And so, especially just, just coming out of a pandemic, we know that was hard on everyone, um, but when folks are facing um, even greater uh, disparities and barriers that can impact physical health and mental health, it's why it's important that, you know, everybody steps up and helps our community out, and that's what we're doing. After volunteers finish packing the bags, the City of Pearl's Chief of Police in Maryland formally accepted the donations. So it's certainly a feeling of hope that someone actually loves and cares about them. And, um, you know, in, in, in a serious situation like that, the smallest things can touch someone's life. And for a child just to understand that there are people out there that put these bags together, um, and it shows um, just the sincerity that people are concerned about children. And there's, there's, there's epidemics out there. There's problems like this. The care cases will be donated to Pearl PD, Mississippi CPS, Methodist Children's Home, and the Boys and Girls Club of Central Mississippi. Marie Benefield, 12 News.